in my new office. I just finished filming that 24 hour office transformation video yesterday. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. I had so much fun, but it was also very stressful because I went through hours and hours of filming. I had like four memory cards of footage and I ended up buying another memory card just to fit more because ultimately I was trying to record as much as I could. I wanted to include as many time lapses as possible. So it was a lot. It was a lot of footage, but I wouldn't have changed anything. It was really, really awesome. And I'm so happy with the results. Like this office just feels so full of possibilities, potential and homey, but like alive because I have a ton of plant babies in here. I took some B-roll of it today because the sun is out, it's shining and just I love how bright it is and the colors. It's absolutely everything that I needed. So definitely go watch my 24 hour home office transformation challenge redecorating video. I don't know what to call it yet because there are so many possible titles, but it'll be titled something like that. Anyway, it is March 12th. Is it the 12th? No, it's Friday the 13th, even worse. So it's <laughs> March 13th right now and the state of Minnesota just announced a I forget the actual term, but it's like a state of panic because of the coronavirus. I know that by the time this video goes up, hopefully things will have died down. Just it hit my county and it hit my county hard. All the stores are out of like everything. All my plans have been canceled. Like <laughs> the world is ending. I mean, side note, I'm happy that we're taking the precautions necessary to hopefully not... Hey, Luna to hopefully not have as many tragedies as like Italy and you know, just to prevent a quick spread. I'm sure this is old news by now, but you know, just to prevent it from spreading quickly because if we can maintain it under control, then we'll have the necessary means to treat people. But if it's spreading faster than we can take care of people, then we're gonna run out of ventilators and it can be kind of scary. And I don't mention this a lot, but I have a sibling who, uh, doesn't have her own immune system. So if she got any sort of Ill illness, it's super, super scary. And we need nurses to take care of her. If Corona infects our house, then we lose nurses and she is immediately at high risk. It would just be very bad. So I went to Target today and just bought everything. I am ready to quarantine myself voluntarily just to stay safe and, you know, protect the people in my life and try to stay healthy. I'm like oddly looking forward to it though because I do have this nice new office to work in and I have so much to do with like YouTube and podcasting. It's gonna be nice. But before we start the isolation, I wanted to show you a few things that I got from Target today because as you saw in my office transformation video, I became a plant mom and I suddenly have a green thumb. Hopefully, we'll see. I mean, they're all still alive, but it's been a day. My mom came over last night and we potted all the plants that I bought, but then we realized some of the pots that we had were too small for the plants that we purchased and we didn't have enough pots. So my mom went to Goodwill this morning. Life hack, thrift stores have really great plant pot finds for cheap. So she found this very cute ceramic one for me that I think will be big enough for the ones that are still in my kitchen without pots. She also picked me up a little spray bottle to mist a lot of my plants with because I didn't have like a mister. And then she also picked up some of these plastic things to put underneath the pots to catch the water. At Target today, as you saw, I went hard and bought everything that I could think of that I might need within the next few weeks to a month. I don't know how long this is gonna last. It's like kind of scary, you know? But I just bought anything I might need to stock up my kitchen. But I did also need a few plant pots. So I checked out Target's Oh, let me start with these babies because they've been in this plastic bag and I want to get them out. I went to Trader Joe's as well and I bought a few more succulents. So we have this little aloe. It's so cute. The aloe I have now is huge. So this is very small to me. And then just this little succulent. It looks like a jade plant, but I'm not actually sure. So we got these little babies to pot because I realized, <sighs> should I just show you? So originally I bought a ton of plants to put against this wall. Hey Marnie. And then on that plant stand by the window. However, I realized that most of the plants I bought can't be in direct sunlight. They need to be in indirect sunlight. Otherwise the leaves will burn if they're in bright sunlight. So most of my plants that I bought for the windowsills have migrated to my desk and a wall over there, meaning I needed to get more plants that love sunshine to put on the plant stand in my windowsill. So I got two more of those. Like I mentioned, some of the plants that I bought required larger pots than the ones that my mom and I bought. So I went to Target to see what they had. Heads up, Target is so expensive for plant pots. Like these were both $15 each, whereas like this was three bucks. And then the ones at Tonka Gardens that my mom and I went to yesterday were like five to $10 for like large ones. Don't go to Target for plant stuff. I think it's such a rip off. Learn from my mistakes. However, I got the cutest little pink ceramic plant pot. It's 
pretty big, which is good because I needed one larger like this for the plants that roots were just like growing too fast. Yeah, it's so cute. So I got that. And then I also got this cute little white plant pot with a strip of green. It looks like a paint brush stroke. And I really want to put a succulent that I got yesterday in this because I think the succulent like greenery with this is going to look so perfect and I can put it in the window. What's funny is if you watch, oh, okay, cool. What's funny is if you watched my transformation video that I filmed yesterday, I went to Target to pick up a new memory card and I saw this tank top there. I didn't get it at the time because I was on a mission to finish that 24 hour challenge, but I could not stop thinking about it. So I went back today because it was only $7 and if it was still in my mind, like, a full day later, I just knew that I would regret not buying it because it's so cute. It's like this cute little cropped light green tank. It has like this ribbed material and it has like almost like a lace trim on the outside. Oh my God, this is perfect. It reminds me so much of the Brandy Melville tank tops that I have, except it was in Target's sleepwear. So go to their sleepwear section because that's where these cute little summer tank tops are. And I really want to show you how cute it is. So I'm going to change into it. BRB. Like Oh my god, this is so me. The amount of cute little tank tops that I have like this, it's endless. I love it. It's so easy. I hate wearing bras in the summer and I love the length of it and the texture. It's so soft, so affordable. $7. They had this in white, black, and this green. I definitely am going to pick up some more, but I love it so much. It's super cute and springy and perfect and gets me all excited for summer. Great finds at Target today. Already my office is very, very messy. It was clean two seconds ago, but I was like filming all of this. So I think I'm going to to uh, repot the plants that are still in my kitchen that have yet to have a permanent pot and then pot these guys as well. I really wanted to get like smaller plants like this because some pots that I wasn't able to use yesterday is like this really, really pretty one. Like that'd be super cute. So I might pot that in there. I could do the other succulent or the jade one in this pot. I think I also have a pot in the kitchen too. I'm not sure. We can work on that, but I just need some more succulents and cacti and things that need to be in direct sunlight for this plant stand as well as that. But I also want to leave space for the cats because they will move what they need to move to lay here. Also, if anyone can tell me what kind of plant this is, I completely forgot when I came home, it wasn't labeled. These are not flowers. I posted on a Facebook group asking people like what type of plant they thought it was. And so so far, no one has given me an answer that seems correct when I Google it. A lot of people said these are flowers, but if you look closely, they're the leaves. Like the leaves are that color. So if anyone knows what type of plant this is, let me know because I don't know if it should be in shade or sun. So it's harder to take care of. But Tonka Gardens, they have a ton of rare finds. So I have a feeling this is just like not as common and that's why it's difficult. Oh no! I'm killing it. That's why it's harder to identify. I've been snacking on these, tried them for the first time today at Trader Joe's. They remind me of my childhood, but they're so yummy. Perfect little guilty snack. And then I also got a few of these lemon ginger cayenne with apple cider vinegar drinks because Corona. Which, speaking of, let me just show you what my kitchen looks like. I know you watched me unpack, but I swear to God, my fridge has never been so full. Starting with what I'm very proud of. <laughs> I've been working on this for a while. Jeffree Star definitely got to my head, like David Dobrik, all the YouTubers, because suddenly I need a YouTuber fridge. I want to keep it fully stocked in a rainbow. I'm crazy, I know, but that's what this looks like currently. And then I also have another one of those drinks from Trader Joe's. This shelf is my favorite. It's my wine rack. So I keep all of the wines that I'm loving right now. I'm really into Savion Blancs and like white wines, surprisingly. So I have some of those here. And this is the actual like functional shelf with like things that I need. And then I just keep like charcuterie, cheese platter stuff in here and random extra little doodads in there. I didn't have enough space for all the wine I bought today because Corona stocking up. So I have more over here as well. My freezer is basically just full of my favorite things from Trader Joe's and then a ton of frozen fruit for smoothies. Has anybody tried this? I think it's new because I haven't seen it there before, but it's cauliflower tempura, which is my favorite when I go to Cheesecake Factory. So I'm hoping it'll be just as good. I'm very curious what that is like. Stocked fridge, stocked freezer. I am ready to isolate myself. It's kind of messy right now because I just have so much to put away. Like I bought a lot of coffee today too. But here are the three plants that I just didn't have the correct pot sizes for yesterday. This is a mother of thousands. This is a beautiful succulent with flowers. Oh my God. This is the one that we tried to pot yesterday, but the roots were like so overgrown. My mom was like, we're gonna need a bigger pot. So that's why I bought 
got some today. And then this is the prayer plant, which is so cool, but it's called the prayer plant because at night the leaves rise up and it looks like it's praying. And then during the day they come back down. This one is actually gonna go in this very, very pretty like cream pot. I just didn't have enough potting soil because we ran out. Here's my little potting station. Today at Target, I picked up a huge thing of more potting mix. Let's get going on that so that I can have happy plants in their new homes. And then I want to pick up the office a little bit and do more of like a final reveal now that I have some more things for it. repotted and watered and hopefully very happy. I found this little Ikea plant pot that I had for years. It was right here and I just had this fake succulent in it. So I think that will work. Hopefully it's not too small for this little guy. I FaceTimed my mom and she said that it should be okay, but it might need to be repotted sooner rather than later. Anyway, I have five new plants to go find homes in my office. If you watched my most recent video, which I know I mentioned a lot, but I mentioned in that video, this app called Planta that I use to notify me like when to take care of my plants. It's like super, super helpful. I highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to add all those plants onto Planta and it will help me determine where to put the plant. Like I know for sure this little succulent is gonna go right in front of the window on my plant stand from Ikea. So let's bring this one in first to its new home. Welcome home. So cute. So I just added all my new plant babies onto my plant app. And I don't know if this is interesting to anybody else out there, but I'm fairly new. I mean, I've tried the whole plant game before, but I've killed them all. And I'm fairly new at like taking good care of my plants, which is why this app is so helpful. However, I've seen like mixed, they've told me mixed things basically. Some places, like I ended up Googling a ton because the app told me that aloe veras need to be in direct sunlight. Some websites told me that aloe veras burn in direct sunlight and that they should be kept more in like bright light, but shade. So I really don't know. And they also say to put like plants that need full sun in south windows, which would be that window because they need at least six hours of sunlight a day and then to put plants that don't need as much in a west window because you get a lot of light but only like sunset light my instinct i feel like the west window gets so much more light all the time than the south window maybe i'm never up early enough i don't know i have all of these succulents and plants that need full direct sunlight in the south window but meanwhile the west window is getting direct sunlight i don't know like the app told me to put this aloe which is a succulent in direct sunlight but after i googled it last night some places told me to put it more in like bright light but not direct sunlight this is my struggling aloe that i've had for a few years i don't even know if she's gonna make it man and then plants like this which is like the chinese money plant and a polka dot plant they say to put in bright light but not near sun so i'm like okay that means the desk we have the prayer plant and this dragon i also really need to repot i just checked its roots and it's like 
it's insane. Like, look at that poor baby. It needs more room, but I don't have a big enough pot, so it's gonna have to wait until Corona's over. This plant said parts on part shade, I think. I don't remember, but I, honestly, I have to check again. Let me check again, and I'll show you what I mean. It says it needs part sun, part shade. So this is a very normal light situation for rooms, usually in the west or east facing window. So if I put this in the west window, it's gonna get a lot of sun. Is that gonna be too much? I just, I don't know. I could try it, I just don't wanna kill them. Like I really don't know what to do and I don't wanna kill them, so <laughs> this is really hard. I also read that you shouldn't move your plants around too much because they get like accustomed to the space that they're in and if you keep moving them, they can be stressed because they're not used to the environment. So I like don't wanna keep moving them around either but i want to make sure they're in like the best possible environment for themselves i'm really stressing i don't know what to do <laughs> let me check in in a little bit okay i moved all of the succulents and plants that need direct sunlight to the west window because they are in direct sunlight for the first time all day and then all the plants that said they need parts on part shade i put in the south window because here they are in like bright light but there isn't direct sunlight. It doesn't look as cute as before though. And then I also have plants up here. I've got my spider plant, some ivy, and a pothos, but I think they're fine. Like I don't have to worry about them. They should be fine. So if anyone knows more about this than I do, please let me know what I should do because otherwise I'm just going to keep moving my plants around and I don't want to do that to them, but I just want to make sure that they're getting like what they need. So far, I don't feel like the best plant mom. Right now, I mean, it's not the cutest layout with all the different parts pots and like locations that they're in, but I just don't know where I should be putting them. Yeah, this is a struggle, but <laughs> I'm reaching out for your help. So please let me know what I should be doing. When I stopped at my parents' place today, I also picked up a book that finally arrived that I ordered on Amazon. It's called To Hell With The Hustle. I actually got this idea from Alicia Marie because she mentioned in her recent vlog that she was reading this and really liked it. And it's where she got a lot of her like 2020 resolutions like ideas from. It seems super, super helpful. It's basically just like about how our culture today is just go, go, go. And everyone's about the grind and hustle and how sometimes that can get really toxic if you have a non-traditional job like you YouTubers where you feel like there's something you can constantly be working with this can help you kind of just like understand the cycle and set boundaries and not push yourself too far if that makes sense but she said it was really really good I looked it up it looks really really great so I'm excited to start reading this I also picked up some sip spy boxes as you know sip spy is a tea subscription company that sends you a box of tea every single month you can choose your teas you can be surprised you take like a quiz online I feel like everyone knows this because I mentioned them in so many videos but I've got my March teas for the month. So we have this passion fruit jasmine green tea. We've got some white tea, this cold weather karma buddha tea, some ginger peach black tea, which looks really good. They send four packs of four different teas. So you get a lot of tea. Sometimes it's loose leaf like this, so it's even more. They also sent over a bonus box this month because they're starting to do themed boxes for holidays. This month is St. Patrick's Day, so they sent over lucky teas for St. Patrick's Day. And this one, of course, they always send over little bags for you to use if they have loose leaf tea. It's so green. It's like all green tea. Oh my god, that's such a cute idea. It's Irish breakfast tea, but it's in a green packet. We have four Irish breakfasts. We've got this loose leaf green rainbow tea black tea as well copper cup green tea latte mix which i've never seen this before but that looks really good so those are the two boxes that sips by sent me i'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out and don't forget to use my coupon code michaela5 for five dollars off of your first tea box but thanks again sips by i love my tea as always it's about 5 p.m i need to get some editing done it's friday night i was supposed to babysit tonight but because of corona like everyone is canceled and i was also supposed to uh, parent for my parents they were gonna go to this benefit dance this weekend a few hours away so i was going to take care of my brothers and like be at their house but the benefit was canceled so they're staying home because of that i had my whole weekend like blocked off because i knew i'd be at my parents place babysitting but now i don't know what to do and tyler has a cough so i can't see him because of corona it's been two hours since i've gotten home for the day and i'm already starting to feel like suffocating <laughs> Oh no, I'm also really hungry because I've legit just been snacking on these. I have a feeling this is pretty long as it is, so I think I'll just wrap up the vlog here and this will just be like an office update and a cry for help. <laughs>
with my plants if there's any green thumbs out there that can give me some advice but thank you so much for watching and definitely leave a like because it does help comment down below don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and follow me on all my social media with all that being said though have a wonderful rest of your day stay safe and healthy if corona is still a thing when this video goes up part of me thinks it's going to be over quickly but part of me also thinks i could be stuck in my apartment for months it's like super scary right now but i'm trying to stay calm i'll catch you guys in my next video though thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day bye i was so hurt and upset that i never gave him another chance